In this video, I want to show you how, as a student, you can respond to your discussion board using video. So there's a new tool on our Canvas server called Canvas Studio, and that's going to allow you to reply to discussions with video. Here's an example of how to do that. So I'm in a discussion board, just a sample discussion board, and I'm going to hit the reply button. The place where I'm going to see the, the tool for Canvas Studio is in more external tools. So this little arrow looks like a blue V. When you click on that, you'll see Canvas Studio. And that's what I'm going to select. If you've recorded any Canvas Studio videos before, then you'll see those as options in your library. Um, you can also hit this record button. And here you have the option to do screen capture, so you can record your computer screen, um, or a webcam capture. So I'm going to hit webcam capture since it's an introduction of myself, and I'm going to dare to put myself on camera right now. Goodness. Um, now I'm talking, I'm doing a little test, 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 because I, I haven't started recording yet, but I want to make sure that it's picking up my mic, my audio. And that's what that blue line is. It is detecting audio from my microphone. If it wasn't, I could click here and change the microphone to choose a different one. Um, actually, it is choosing, it's using my headset microphone and I want it to use, um, I think that's the webcam mic that I wanted to, oh, see? So you'll wanna make sure that, test, 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 test. I'm not exactly sure. I thought it was going to be this one, but let's just go with this one. My headset mic. So just make sure that it is getting audio, and it is. And then if you're if you have multiple webcams installed, and actually I do on this computer, uh, there's the Logitech camera that I wanted to use. And then if I wanted to choose a different video camera, I could change it there. Okay, I'm going to hit. Oops, I want to use Logitech. I'm going to hit start recording and do just a really quick little demo intro. It's going to be sort of silly. And then um, there will be a stop recording button. I'll click that when I'm done. It counts me down. Hi, everybody. My name is Katie, and I'm really excited to be joining you in this class this semester. How fun to be able to do video introductions. Um, I hope this is a cool way for us to meet each other in this online space to get to know each other better. Um, and I'm just really excited to be joining you. So thank you so much for uh, setting up this video discussion and look forward for future discussions in this course. Bye for now. So finish because I'm done. I could start over, but now I'm actually going to finish. Okay. And now I can listen to that. Hi, everybody. My name is... Make sure that I didn't make too much of a fool of myself and there was nothing happening behind me that was too incredibly embarrassing. Um, and then I'm going to hit the Save button. So that tells me that it's uploading. And it goes pretty quickly. And I'm going to sit here and hang tight until we see that go. Nice. Okay, so now I haven't added it to the discussion yet. All I've done is recorded it. Oh, and actually it's still processing. So there it's counting down my processing. So the file you have uploaded is now available for viewing. But I still need to select it and put it into the discussion board. So that's what I'm going to do. I hit select. Do I want to allow comments on this video? That's perfectly fine. I'm going to keep that um, that turned on. You could turn that off if you didn't want to. That's up to you or up to the uh, instructions of your uh, professor. So they might tell you which to turn on. Um, and then I'm not going to have it downloadable. I'm going to hit the embed button. That big yellow flash on the screen means that something just got embedded into um, the rich content editor, into this space, right? So there we are. Um, and I can scroll up and down and see that. I can also go over to captions and I want to request that captions be added to my video so that any student who is hearing impaired in this class will benefit from being able to read the captions of the audio that's not accessible to them. So I clicked over to captions and I'm going to say that this is English and I'm going to request captioning 
for this video. And you can see that those are queued and we should see those start coming through too. So I'll hang tight here until I see those come through. Okay, so that finished. It was a couple of minutes and I did just stay on this screen. So I waited for two minutes on this screen and I can say review and publish because I wanna see what those look like. And here is, hi everybody, period. My name is Katie, I'm really excited to be joining this class. So here's where you get to change, update, um, edit any of your captions that need to be uh, revised. So make sure that these accurately depict what you said in your video. I'm really just excited to join us. Thank you very much. Okay, so actually that looked pretty good. I didn't see any edits um, that I needed to make. I kind of wanted to, let's just say I wanted to edit this and so that we had something to change there and then I'm going to hit publish. So now my captions are published and all I need to do is, let's see, details. Fine. I could edit the details here, I guess, and give this Katie's demo um, intro video on a discussion board. Okay. So I could do that. I could comments, insights, captions. That's it. Oops. Katie did not save this. See how I'm also learning as I go here? Katie's demo on replying to a discussion board via. Okay, now this time I'm going to hit save. Find comments, insights, captions. There's nothing else that I need to add here. Captions are done. And unfortunately, I don't think I can change my thumbnail image of that video, but we're just going to go with it and we're going to hit post reply. And now on my discussion board in Canvas, I have replied with a video and there's a reply button down here so that my classmates can again reply back to me. So it's a nice way of having a video discussion. You can see that the captions are there when I play it. Hi everybody, my name is Katie and I'm really excited. So that's a nice way to keep this accessible for all of our classmates participating in this discussion. Thanks for watching.